Our top story this lunchtime, the three main political power brokers in South Korea, the government, the ruling party and the top office have been meeting in Seoul to discuss ways to deal with North Korea's seemingly relentless stream of provocations. Following their meeting early Wednesday, the officials emerged to say the new administration here in South Korea wants to fundamentally neutralize the regime's nuclear and missile threats. Beyonji starts us off. North Korea has already conducted 18 missile launches so far this year. To discuss this matter and deterring further threats, the country's defense minister, foreign minister, as well as members from the ruling People Power Party met on Wednesday. During the meeting, the Conservative Party's floor leader emphasized that they're sending a message of warning to the North. We're sending a clear warning. North Korea is not going to win anything through provocations. The only thing they're going to get is strong sanctions and punishment from the international community. The country's second deputy national security adviser also vowed to take a tougher line against the North than the previous administration. In case of provocation, we will clearly show them our capability and readiness. During the UN administration, we will find ways to fundamentally neutralize North Korean nuclear and missile threats. Also during the meeting, the country's defense minister noted that the North on Sunday had fired several missiles simultaneously from different locations. He mentioned that in response to those threats, Seoul had responded by firing surface-to-surface -surface missiles and had fully armed South Korean and U.S. fighter jets fly in formation as a show of force. By firing surface-to-surface -surface missiles jointly with the U.S. following the North's launch, our military showed the capability to accurately target the source of the North Korea's missile launches and their command and support centers. He also stressed the seriousness of the situation on the Korean Peninsula, with the North recently showing signs they're preparing for a nuclear test. Pei Arirang News.